What's up, homie? Hey, though, homie. I want to relay some information that could possibly help somebody. Because I'm here to help. Bullshit. Don't feel bad when I'm down, I'm gonna be okay. This way gonna come right back around us, back to be away. Only the members don't come around us, you know what? vent your car two different ways on the honda that i know of i don't know everything i don't claim to know everything but it's two different ways that i know of and what i mean by vent people vent the uh what is that the pvc what the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the the positive crank ventilation either through the valve cover or the back of the block okay i've tried both and this video is going to be about venting from the valve cover and venting from the back of the block. Now this is my Integra. It's turbo, so I have to vent either from the valve cover or the back of the block. That's the turbo. You can vent either uh, boosted or NA, it doesn't matter. So the story goes, I had this real nice valve cover, right? It was polished just like the center plate right here and, and went along with this strut bar. So. Poly, just picture this polished valve cover strip bar look good the only problem was that that valve cover cover Put that shit up man didn't have uh you couldn't vent from it it didn't have a fittings on it the 10 a.m fittings or you can use 12 a.m whichever ones you want to use nothing under a 10 10 and up not 10 and down okay so it didn't have a fittings on it so you can put the lines to your catch can so you can vent the positive crank uh pressure out of the engine so I'm like, I want to put on my polished valve cover because, like I said, it just looks so delicious. Yeah, boy. So I put on my um, my polished valve cover because I know or I knew I can vent from the back of the blocks. They sell these kits where they come with fittings. You take the plugs out the back of the block and you can insert those fittings. And they also have a, a plug that come with it so you can actually plug where the... Uh, the PVC. Come on now, dog. Oh man. It's like a black box. Those who know Hondas know what I'm talking about. You can plug that hole off. So I did that. And once I did that, I realized I started to fill up my catch can a lot quicker than what I was when I was venting from the valve cover. Now, this is one of them cases where if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Because I know a lot of people vent from the back of the block. Don't have no problem. If you're not having no problem, leave it. But if you have the situation that I had or the issues that I had when I was waiting from the back of the block, which was filling up the catch can and also not only filling up the catch can, but I was filling it up with more oil than I was that uh, that that condensation or the, the, the more watery um, substance. So once I noticed that, I was like, you know what, man? I, I can't, you know, I'm spitting out oil that I actually need. You, 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 you feel me? The engine run off oil. So if you spitting so much oil into the catch can, that oil is being uh, depleted from, from your uh, oil pan. You're going to start noticing you're burning more oil or you would think you're burning more oil, whereas it's not actually burning it. It's, it's spitting the damn thing into the catch can. So what I did, I put it back on the valve cover and it stopped. I don't fill up my catch can as much as quick. And I'm going to, you know what? Instead of telling y'all, I'm going to show you the difference. Because I always catch my, uh, when I drain my uh, catch can, I put it in a bottle. I use a, a dang on, I don't take it off and I'm lazy, man. What I use, I use a turkey baster. Ow. Ow. Nigga, you get. I use a turkey baster and I just put it in there, suck the fluid out and drain it into a water bottle. So, I'm going to show y'all the difference. This is the difference. Now, which one you think was from the uh, back of the block? Yeah, if you chose that one, you're correct. Water and oil separates itself. It likes to be separated, just like some people that I know. So it segregates itself, and you'll get this divide. Now, of course, the top portion is oil. The bottom part is what I was trying to mention earlier about the, the watery liquid substance you know it's a mixture of it could be oil condensation which is water 
It got a few molecules and the scientific <laughs> Anyway, so this one was when I was venting from the back of the block, and this one was when I was venting from the valve cover. Also, that one from the valve cover. Look like a pee in these things, huh? You can clearly see these don't have hardly any oil in it. But this one, I was catching all kinds, all kinds of oil in it, okay? So once I switched over to venting from the valve cover, I wasn't catching as much oil no more. Boom. Okay. That's just water because I was thirsty. No shit. And I had to put my shiny polished valve cover back on this head that I have laying around. So I might want to put some fittings on it put it back on the guy. Try that and if it work out, you welcome. If it don't work out, then I ain't said nothing. I ain't said nothing of the kind.